spending money in Devon sort of comes, you know. First things first, we have to get back to job. We're a very happy family. We have great jobs and good salaries. But there's something that really worries us. As we speak now, we are fooling ourselves, you know, and that we are financially there when we are actually here. So, for the month of July, we're going to get our entire salaries paid to us in one rent coin. It's real now, no? And we're going to live only on those coins. We are the one rent family. The reason for this trip to Durban, my younger sister, pretty soon, gonna be getting married. Before that whole wedding thing happens, there's things that have to happen first. Paying off a ball or This occasion, uh, it's important that I, I am there. After my father, of course, I'm the head of the family. Before I went to Durban, I had to get my hair done and my nails done. I obviously had to look good for Spoo's family and everyone else, especially when they haven't seen me for a long time. I think to protect ourselves from not spending all of our money, we're going to have to wear a budget of the petrol and the toll gate. You're going to have a lot of change there, my brother. Make sure you can't ride. Shut my brother. Five more tolls to go. Eta? Who's it about? Full, 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 my brother. That's 10. 20 rand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100 short there. That's 100. When we go to Durban, you know, coming from Joburg, we're going to see uh, who asks for favors. Hey, it's move from Joburg. Come on, what's up? We haven't seen you in a long time. Come on, buy me the beer then. You know, well, let's get those things. First things first, we have to get back to Joburg. I'm giving you change, my sister, and you're gonna be fine. Thanks, very much. That's good, all right. That's okay. 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 This is where I grew up. This is where I was running around, you know, as a kid. The upbringing was, was not, you know, all peaches and cream. We all just had a full house with my parents, you know, bringing us up uh, with very limited resources. It was difficult and they made sure that we, we were clothed, fed. We never felt a struggle or anything. There's always love, unity. you know, unity. For someone who came from such humble beginnings, as you can see, he's done a lot. So we really are proud of what he's achieved. The people from the groom's side have been sent to come and do lobola negotiations with Smooth's dad and family. Sort of to ask for a good relationship between the families. Back in the day, you know, we used live cows, like, like real cows, four-legged cows, to pay for negotiation. But things have changed over the years, so that is converted actually into rands and cents. They pay like 50 rand just to get into the house, another 50 rand for us to talk to them. I also had to have Lobola um, arrangements. We had to pay Lobola a very, very hefty fine. <laughs> the Lobola negotiations went well. Today it was nine cows that uh, we were negotiating. You can convert that and uh, come to a figure, because I cannot disclose that. <laughs> the Lobola is an old age tradition, but unfortunately that come at a, at a cost, and uh, hence many families are starting their marriage with the, with the dead hangover. If you have some kind of financial obligation, it should be part of your plan whether or not it's to provide for a funeral or for a bola or for retirement, then you have some money to fall back on. A friend of mine came to us, oh, hey, I haven't seen you in a long time. Come on, man, pay me 20 bucks there. People might think that there is a whole lot more money going around than that there actually is in this situation based on the lifestyle that they lead. That also enhances our self-esteem. It makes us feel important. 
they bought a, a sheep as well with them. That sheep is because the groom has already impregnated the bride to be before wedding. This is our way of saying apology. We are going now to have some uh, of that sheep. Yeah, look, it's, it's good to be back home, you know, and see everybody. Every month, you know, I, I also have to assist where I can financially. When they retired, because of lack of knowledge about saving, better financial management, they re retired not here, in a good financial space. Most of us who were born in, in rural areas, parents, they see investing in their children's education as also investing in their own future. There was an expectation that I took care of you when you needed me and now you take care of me when I need you. I really would not want, you know, to find myself in the same situation. I want to be able to be financially secure, not having to depend on my daughter, on my son, you know, to carry me month after month. Um, and uh, uh, that cycle really has to end. Their investment in their future is less than a quarter of what they're paying for their cars right now. The need to spend and to spend conspicuously is actually sabotaging our ability to build wealth over our lifetimes. He would have to carefully think about what he does to plan differently, because at the rate they are going now, that is the same situation they are going to be in. If it all comes tumbling down, it's a sad story, because even the people that they are supporting will not be able to relate or even help them. South Beach in Devon. It's a Sunday morning, we just had breakfast and you know how we pay it. Just enjoying our last day in Devon. So we decided to let's try something free. So we came to the beach. Spending money in Devon sort of comes, you know, because you have to keep ourselves sort of entertained. Yeah, but I think we've, we've come actually under budget. Then we've spent less than what we expected to spend. Is it? You yeah. think so? We don't have a full tank. We haven't paid for eat or how many stuff things are left in the car. There's still like, like four, four. At the end of the day, the books must reconcile. Yeah. And if they don't... Jabola is to blame. You, you must count, yeah. bro. One way or another, we are getting to Joga. We've just come back from Durban. We've spent just a little under 3,000 rands. Under normal circumstances with our cards, we would have probably spent something like 6,000 rands. So I think we have a low victory there. It's uh, that time of the year where the schools are closed. Our nieces and the nephews from Devon are coming to visit us. We have probably one, two, three, four more mouths to feed. Uh, we normally will take them like to uh, Gold Reef City, you know. It's really gonna be a long month.